Hey everyone, this is Avinash here from Suez. In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy a file from one location to another using Worksoft Certify. So there can be scenarios where you may need to copy a file from one location to another as a precondition, post condition, or even as part of your end to end test case. I'm going to show you how you can do this without Certify and then how you can do this with Certify. So as you already aware that we can execute uh, MS-DOS commands in your operating system. So we are going to use a command called copy uh, that you can actually type in your command prompt. So the command will be copy space um, slash y slash y is used for overwriting the file and destination. And then it accepts two more arguments. That is the source file path with the file name and the destination file path. Now you're just going to do this with a command prompt and then I'm going to show you how to do this with certify. So let me first open uh, the command prompt. Now my scenario here is I want to copy a file from my C drive folder one, the test data file to the folder two in the same drive. So you can see that just copy this command here. You can see that now the file is successfully copied. Now the reason why I have put slash y is because if you do not put this, command prompt will ask you for a confirmation to override. You can see that it asks me override C folder to test data S or no. So I can just so I can just avoid that by using slash y. So you can see now when I use this with slash y, it doesn't ask me for confirmation. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing with certify. Now in certify, as you already aware that we can use DOS commands from certify step directly. So I've actually copy pasted the same command step into certify and I'm going to execute this. And it's going to do the same thing. It's going to copy the file from the folder one, the test data file to the folder two. Okay. So now you can see the file has been successfully copied. So you already saw that how easy it was for us to just copy a file from one location to another using MS-DOS copy command. If you want to know more about the copy command and its features and the arguments that you want to pass along, you can just Google copy command and you will get a plenty of information online. So let me just explain you what I did again. So you can see that I've used the copy command with uh, an argument slash y. This is actually an option to overwrite in case if there is already a same file uh, in the destination. Then we give uh, the source file name with the, along with the complete file path and then the destination file path. So you can see the example here, the copy y is same. So this is the source and this is your destination. Okay, so now I have created an utility process to copy a file from one location to another along with some best practices. So you can see that uh, I have around 12 steps to do the same. So I have a lot of verification steps also. So before we begin um, with the steps, so I'm just going to explain you the record set that I have. So the record set has three variables. So you have a source file path, which has the source file path, the file name and the destination file path. So you can see that um, I'm just building, I'm concatenating and assembling the variables here. So as you already know that uh, certify can concatenate text, variable, date, any kind of data type that you want. So I'm just building the path as a best practice. Then what I do is I'm just verifying the source before copy. So sometimes in test case, maybe uh, let's say you generate a file and it downloads in your download folder. So you must first verify whether the file exists before you copy that. So you can see that uh, in certify, you can also verify whether the file exists or not. So this is the step for that. So I'm just verifying whether the source file first exists or not. So then uh, I'm just assembling the DOS command. You can see that uh, from the record set variables, I'm just assembling it together to form one uh, big DOS command. So the DOS command will have all the DOS command arguments and everything. Now the next step is to execute the DOS command. You can see that I've used the same variable from the previous step. Now it's always good to give uh, wait at least three to five seconds because uh, when certify is executing the DOS command, it doesn't happen very quickly because some operating system may uh, execute the command, maybe a two or three second, you'll have some latencies also. So again, 
it's always good to put even if your system is fast as a best practice it is always good to put some kind of weights after your DOS command okay through certify then once the DOS command executes it waits for three seconds and then you can see that sometimes what if the file doesn't copy what if you don't have authorization to copy the file from one location to another so it is always good to have a verification after you copy so you can see again I'm using the file exist but this time I'm using the destination variable okay so let's execute this process so now you can see the file has been successfully copied and the certify script passed Okay, so now let's try out the other scenario where uh, the source file doesn't copy correctly to its destination. So let's run the test case step by step. So now you can see the source file is there, so that's the reason the file exists. Step has passed. Now let's say the file did not copy correctly, so you shouldn't see any destination uh, file. So now you will see that the file exist step will fail. Okay, so this is how you verify. So now you come to the conclusion that something is wrong with this step. So it means that either you do not have proper authorizations to copy or something went wrong. Okay. So this is how you copy a file from one location to another. Um, you can also create a utility that I created so that it can be reused by anyone becomes handy okay guys so uh, thank you for watching this video i will see you soon in another video